In the last 30 days, I more than doubled my YouTube views using a few simple changes. You see, in December, I received 83,000 views. In January, 85,000. In February, I got 88,000 views. And after making these couple changes I'm about to share with you today, and the month just finished, April 2023, I received over 192,000 views, more than the first two months of 2023 combined. Not only did my views shoot up, but I gained 50% more subscribers, 80% more revenue and sign more clients for my content marketing agency. Link in description for a free discovery call. So how did this work? Well, it was three very specific tactics that you too can use to skyrocket your results on YouTube without needing to film more content or post a ton of shorts or learn any hacks. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing is trending content. Whenever you can tap into trending content and be the first person in your niche to deliver a high quality, valuable video on the topic, it's the biggest cheat code to exploding your growth. And this works regardless of whether you have a million subscribers or one subscriber. Now for me, this month, it was Meta Verified, a highly debated topic that came out last month. As soon as Mark Zuckerberg announced this feature, I put together a video collecting every piece of information I knew on the topic with my own experience mixed in there and a few opinions. Now, currently that video is sitting at 16,900 views, which is more than the average for my channel, but I still wasn't fully satisfied. So as soon as Meta Verified actually dropped, I purchased the service, screenshot everything throughout the entire process, scripted out a concise but in-depth video, went to the studio and filmed the best video that I possibly could at the time. And I was the first creator in the world who had a video out there about Meta Verified walking people through how to do it. This video is now sitting at over 90,000 views. And by the time you watch this, it's probably hit over 100,000 views in less than 30 days of publishing, which breaks the record for my channel by about six months. So jumping on trending topics is by far one of the best things you can do to bring new awareness to your content and your channel because these viewers can then go on to watch your other videos and turn into fans so you can create content giving your opinion or insight on these topics and it's a simple way to create content without having to think too much comes up with a ton of ideas and is usually really valuable to the end consumer as well as great for your growth now the second thing i did is i invested into renting a studio to film my content so recently i moved from my hometown in Nelson up to the big city of Auckland and when doing so I decided to try using a studio to improve the quality of my content. Better quality cameras, multiple cameras, better lighting, a better setup. This makes the viewer experience better which leads to better retention rates, a stronger brand and these indicators lead to YouTube pushing your content out there to more people. The proof is in the pudding. My recent video is sitting on just over 10,000 views in its first week which is really really solid for my channel. The verified video is sitting at 91,000 views in three weeks. It'll be interesting to see how these future videos that I'm filming now perform as well. Now, this does not mean you have to invest thousands of dollars into your content or go out and buy all of this fancy equipment. Sure, it'll help, but instead, just look for ways that you can constantly level up your content. Just a couple percent here, a couple percent there. Look how you can improve your lighting, improve your audio. How can you speak with more confidence on camera? That's one thing I'm trying to do. How can you learn more about your industry? Research more facts and figures and put that into your content. You could watch a free YouTube video on how to edit your content better. You could learn more about your camera's settings to improve the filming. You could go grab a softbox to improve the lighting in your videos. You could go somewhere like Kmart and spend $100 to get some cool items for your set. There's so many different things you can do that even on a small budget, you could massively improve the quality of the videos that you're putting out. So start with those free improvements, then add to it slowly and watch your videos become better and better. Through becoming better, you'll get more reach, build a stronger brand and grow your audience. Now, the third thing that I did that really helped me grow my audience is I invested more time into researching my content. And now this falls under the same umbrella of the last point of creating better content. But I found by spending more time researching my content, the videos I created became better and this led to more views. For example, I stacked the verified video full of screenshots, insights, and details. This took me more time, but when I pull up my analytics and I'll show you on the screen, 49 seconds into that video, the retention retention rate was at 113%. This means 49 seconds into the video, the average viewer had already watched 
55 seconds, as in they had rewinded parts and watched again, which is absolutely ridiculous. If I can have 65% retention at that point, I'm pretty happy. Now, I did the same thing on my recent video. I put together 15 tricks I've used to crack the algorithm, and I tried to back these up with data where I could and share insights that I've learned over many, many years of building profiles. And through this, I tried to jam it all into a 12 minute video. And this led to a massive increase in my watch time. I'll throw a screenshot of the graph on the screen where you can see my retention. The gray represents my average retention on a YouTube video. And as you can see, the blue line stays above that the entire video, while above the top end of my average retention numbers. And when YouTube see this, they start pushing it out to more new people. Now this video actually didn't perform amazing in the opening day. We had about a thousand views which was pretty low as far as how my channel tends to perform but after youtube saw the retention numbers they've been slowly pushing it out to more and more people yesterday it got 1400 views today it got over 2100 and i think the 48 hour average is sitting at just over 4500 now and it keeps getting shown to more and more people because of the two previous points i invested into better production and i invested more time into researching the content to create a script that was more valuable more useful and then that gets pushed by youtube because people watch it longer. You can always, always, always improve the value in your video some way. Adding more data, rewriting the hook at the start of the video, learning more about your topic, and through that, generate more views to your content and business. In summary, having a simple focus of how can I create the best possible content for the end user, both through improving the production, but also the nuts and bolts of the information, paired with creating content around trending topics is what allowed me to more than and double my YouTube views in March of 2023. Maybe this was a fluke. I'll create another video in a few months time to keep you updated with what's working, what's not working, what other trends I've noticed and anything else that can be useful as well as answering any frequent questions I get in the DMs. Now, if you're a business owner that needs help with your own channel to plan, script, edit and distribute your content across YouTube and Instagram to grow your audience and therefore grow your business, you're welcome to book a call with me down below. I'll leave a link to my Calendly. Aside from that, there'll be links Thanks to other useful videos in the description and I will see you guys in the next one.